So we just uh, finished up with the Silent Hill Historical Society and the prison, which had like 400 levels to it apparently. And uh, yeah, now we are moving on. Guess we're gonna uh, take the boat across the lake here. <laughs> Or something. Yeah, look, we got a boat. Row, James, row. So, this part is uh, a little bit more challenging on the hard difficulty level, because you have to actually control each ore, like rotating them around. But, since we're not on the hard difficulty level, then we can just kind of point the analog stick in the direction we want to go. You want to just kind of turn and look for that light that's on the dock. There it is. Just row at it. So, and apparently this does determine, partly at least, how good of an ending you get. Um, you know how long it takes you to cross this uh, lake, and you don't want to stop because, well, you just have to stop and find out. probably has something to do with those hands and the dead bodies from the boat and the 67 people on that uh, memorial in Rosewater Park. Maybe. Looks like the light's gradually getting bigger. Light getting bigger than the fog moving is about the only way you can tell you're going anywhere. I know it is possible to get stuck on like pieces of land out here too, and it's like really hard to tell. So, but if you just kind of go turn right from the dock and go straight before the light, that should be all you need to do. I know this is pretty thrilling, isn't it? <laughs> Yay, and we're across. We did that pretty quick, too. I think that was like... I don't know. That should have been less than a minute, I think. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I accomplished that. I rode across the lake. I feel pretty good about myself. Mm. Alright, so... Getting our next phase here at the Lakeview Hotel. into it. I don't think there's anything actually out here. So. Okay. I am going to switch the shotgun now because enemies are really going to be tougher. Or should be. If I remember correctly. Got a map here, and it's got waiting for you written on room 312. It's the room we stayed in. Hotel map for guests. Not to be confused with any other map. 
So I actually lied. There's actually something out here that we should grab. I don't remember where it is. Yeah, here we go. This fountain. Little Mermaid. Which, funny enough, is next to a fountain, water, you know. Anyways. Go ahead and run back inside. Okay, so obviously room 312 is our goal. Those stairs go down into the lobby. Cafe Toluca. I'm not going to the Cafe Toluca. Let's go. Oh no. Let's go. Come on, camera, work with me. Let's go in here. We're looking at something. What is it? Ah, oh, come on, James, come on. It's a key on a plate. Fish key. Someone must have gotten the little keychain confused for an actual fish. I don't know. Uh, anything else in here interesting? Um. Did I oh. scare you? Damn it, Laura. Yeah, you did. Blow our way with a shotgun. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. 312. I'm tired of walking. How did you get over here, by the way? I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? Got another letter? Is this the one but you try to make us get in the... Rachel, okay? Rachel? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. The thief? My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James, I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, but and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. So, Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. Mary she and even I... She showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Good Laura. job. I gotta find it. Laura! Bye. Look, she drew a little kitty. Aww. How cute. So, it uh, would appear that um, Laura was sick as well, or something, and was in the hospital with uh, <laughs> What is going on here? Oh! <laughs> Abstract Eddies are now just a common enemy, not a boss. That's why you want the shotgun. They die a lot easier than the boss one, though. So. Um, 
But yes, so it appears that um, Laura was also uh, sick, and because uh, the their nurse Rachel. And uh, don't be too hard on the sisters there, so it's obviously some kind of Catholic hospital or something with nuns. Um, but yeah, I guess um, Mary had been planning on adopting Laura and said happy 8th birthday, but Laura just turned 8, so how is that possible? little interesting fact here, if we look at the letter from Mary, it's blank. Um, yeah, so, might be a little bit more pieces falling together for you, maybe, hopefully, but if not, don't worry, it'll, it might come together for you. Gosh, these things sound so freaky. There it is. you wanted to equip the shotgun as your normal weapon. <laughs> Where does this go? Lobby. Wait, weren't there stairs down into the lobby? I'm confused. Something on the reception desk here. Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Thanks, guys. Thanks for me leaving me a little note for it, too. So I'd know where to look. Got a key. Room 312, imagine that. <laughs> Everything is just so convenient. I'm gonna rate this hotel really high on Yelp. If I can get out of the damn reception area. Gift shop. Aww. Can't buy any, like, little stuffed pyramid head dolls or anything to remember our journey through Silent Hill. I can't leave this hotel just yet. Got a safe point there. Door here. Does this work? It does. But you probably want to know what that big box was in the middle of the room, eh? So this is like a music box. Seat of princess who awoke from death. No. We don't need to play the music box. But we will save it. And we'll save it over this one, just so we never have to row across that lake again. So I guess Laura, I mean, she obviously got over here somehow. Um, if you remember when we were in the hospital about to leave, we saw her uh, looking at Use the pipe. We saw her walk past the window, and she was going towards, like, Nathan Avenue. I don't know how she could have walked up there, but uh, Nathan Avenue was clearly destroyed back there, right? Let's just double check that. It's one of these maps here. Hmm. Maybe we didn't mark it down, but I'm pretty sure that Nathan to Sanford there was destroyed. That's so creepy, that mannequin just standing there. What are you looking at there, James? Ooh. Tango bullets, tango bullets, tango bullets, and rifle shells. 
it toilet paper? You don't need it. Oh, come on. You can always use toilet paper. <laughs> I'll just back out of this room. Restrooms. Nope, we're not going to there. No, we're there. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? I don't remember. Are those just windows or something on the restaurant? I don't remember seeing those on the outside. Um, it's weird. We, like, scribbled. Whoa, why is this whole part of the hotel, like, gray? Huh. Alright, so we got the lobby stairs. Which I think just go to where we are, somehow. Right? Where does this go? No. This definitely doesn't go to the lo- Ah! Definitely is not the lobby. I guess it's under the lobby. Oh, jeez. What the hell was that? No, oh, I don't want to attack you with a shotgun. I want to attack whatever made that damn scary noise. I'm going in there. Where then? Who's this little door? Can you open that? No. Alright, fine. Maybe we can knife it. <laughs> okay, that will never cease to get old. We just have to put it right back away, though. Way too difficult to move with. Uh, I swear I heard something that was not a mannequin. I didn't think they could make noises like that. What is this? Venus Tears? It's locked. Damn. Ooh, what do we got here? Thinner? Like paint thinner? Wait, what's this on the back? Can't see it. Um. Okay. So, sure. I guess we can take this elevator. Maybe. Maybe James isn't interested in taking the elevator. Come on. <laughs> We're fine. Yes, we can't take the elevator. Guess he just wants to go right for room 312. I was trying to go around and collect you some items, bro, but... Um... Where was that other staircase? wasn't in the lobby. This one. Second floor. Oh, I think this goes to the maybe. Yeah, I think that yeah, this is like the top of the lobby. See, that's what I thought those stairs were, so I was a little confused. Ooh, health drink. And rifle shells. Dang. Okay, fine. And then he wasn't all interested in taking the other ele elevator, but he'll act. He'll interact with this one. I'm not going through there. Let's mm, explore this floor some more. Ooh. Ooh, a first aid kit. Awesome. Looking at something else. What is it? Come on, camera. 
hangar bullets, more hangar bullets, shotgun shells, and more shotgun shells. This hotel was prepared for like the apocalypse or something. A briefcase. Aw, uh, it's locked. Figures. <laughs> So I'm not going to use the phone. Doesn't look like they had many guests. They don't have like anything checked in here. Who's that dude? Alright. Hey. Another door. Come on. Grab the shotgun shells. And. What else we got here? Oh, a health drink. Can we read this? I've already read enough medical books. None of them did it any good. None of them ever did any good. So I'm assuming he's not talking about like failing out of med school. He's probably talking about trying to help Mary but not being able to. Not interested in the tourist brochures. Shotgun shells. It's kind of a cool room. I want to go to a hotel that has like a room like this, like a library, reading room. Um, guess we gotta start checking all these rooms. Wait, what are you looking at? More handgun bullets. I don't want to use the handgun though. Weak for most of these guys. Especially these ones. Abstract daddy ones. No, get off my head! No, not that one. Shoot the other one. Damn it. Come on, James. Come on. I thought I heard something back here. It sounded like crying coming from a room, which is disturbing, but we should probably find out what that was about. I don't know if you could hear it over the shotgun blast and radio noise. Wasn't very productive. <laughs> it's got two locked rooms and a bunch of broken ones. Ah, damn! Room two ten was huge. Whoever stayed in there must have been balling. Tried that elevator. Not going in there. <laughs> All right then. Um, what about that fish key we got? What does that uh, unlock for us? But, luckily I remember where to use it. I actually need to use it on the briefcase in here in the cloak room. I don't know how you would, would know that, but... And it just had another key in it. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. Someone took their hotel key, locked it in their briefcase, 
then checked the briefcase into the cloakroom, and then just prepared to eat their fish key. There must be something really good in this room that they don't want us getting. I mean, why they wouldn't just, you know, hold on to the one key, since they already would have to with the fish key. But hey, who, who am I to question that uh, fine gentleman or lady? Right, a gentleman. I guess women don't really use briefcases, do they? Employee elevator key. Man, this place is torn up. Ooh, cool. Damn, they just like bust it into their neighbor's room. They're like, oh, hey. Hixie. Hmm. I'm guessing we don't have that code yet. I don't remember seeing anything like that. There's like a bunch of pictures on this bed. Oh, and they took a picture of their briefcase, probably with the code, but they colored over it. Well, good thing there was a bottle of thinner just sitting in an elevator. Lock? Lock is the combination? Wow. That's original. Huh, I probably gotta, like, brute force that. Well, not actually brute forced, I guess guessed it. Dang it. <laughs> Alphabet does not go in that order. Lock. Or rather unlock. And hey, we got the Cinderella music box. Which, if you notice, it sounds like a bunch of glass under our feet. Glass slipper, get it, maybe? You could really go out that way, I guess, if you wanted. I guess we don't care about any of the other pictures, either. Okay. Hmm, can't go to that half of the hotel. Could go up to the third floor, I suppose. Oh man, there's a gate. It's just like Titanic. They're locking us third class passengers down here. There are women and children down here, man. Oh, did you hear that? Someone definitely just said James. That was creepy. I can't tell if that was Mary or Maria. I guess it kind of sounded like not Maria, so... Maybe Mary? I don't... Have we heard what she sounds like? I don't know. Um, how do I change floors? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Nothing there. I got the bar Venus Tears, but that's not going to work. We have an employee elevator key. I'm kind of thinking it might be that uh, gray thing where there's nothing written. It's locked since it specified we had the guest map. So maybe that's something that's on the employee map. Just uh, kind of using deduction here. I could be totally wrong, but wouldn't be the first. Nope. See, look, I told you. And you doubted me. 
And we're looking at something. Health drinks. Awesome. Wait, two health drinks and a save point? Okay, now I'm a little more wary about taking this elevator. In fact, I'm going to do it on a new save. Just in case. You didn't even open it. How do you know? Ah! Ah! That was terrifying. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that just leaves the room. Hmm. So. The, uh. Reason it's doing that, obnoxious, is the weight allowance is one person. Um, I don't know why they didn't specify it in, you know, some kind of actual weight. So we have to store our items. And yes. It's all of them. Otherwise, it will buzz at us more. We especially can't take the great knife. Okay, we can keep the letters, I guess. And, and Angela's... Well, maybe we can't. Well, let's try keeping the letters from Mary and see in her picture. Or the blank letter from Mary, I guess. Okay. So it's fi it's fine with the letters. I just realized that my health's kind of low. I should probably heal up first. Crap. How do I get something back off the shelf? Um Dang it. Ah. Uh makes us retrieve everything. All right, fine. <laughs> okay, now I feel a little bit better. Put this stuff back on there. Sorry. But yeah, how do they specify the weight as one person? That doesn't seem, you know, seems like you could get in trouble for that, because, uh, person isn't it exactly a constant. I mean, what if Eddie was over here and wanting to ride this elevator? Be like, sorry Eddie, only one person. You need to be less people. Uh, what floor are we on? Third floor? Nope. Second? First. Okay, we can go to the first floor. can't move. The elevator just immobilizes you. <laughs> 